Urbana and Feliza are sisters. Urbana as the oldest, followed by Feliza and their brother, Honesto. They live in a humble home in Bulacan. Feliza always admired her sister, Urbana, when it comes to values and traits as a true Delagang Filipina. One day, she woke up with an empty bed. She then realized that her sister Urbana left for Manila. Dear Urbana, I still remember when we were still young. We often play under the tree, and after a while, our dear mother and father will call us. He will let me play, and you will follow their orders. Even if you are being praised by others, you remain humble. You've been a good example to me. That's why I want to be like you until you grow old. Love, Feliza. Feliza, from the time I wake up in the morning, I will pray. I also do this before eating my meal, before leaving the house, before studying, and before I go to bed. Feliza, my dear, you need to keep your body clean or immaculate, not only on the outside, but also on the inside. It also includes being clean inside the house. Maidens should be like a casmulier, fish, because this fish has a dim dim. It lowers its fins to cover its chest. Be careful and do not let others be rude or to think nasty things about you. Love, Urbana. Pride should not be placed on walking and do not be distracted by things around you. It's also a bad habit to look down to our sleepers, so keep your face straight. Feliza, you should always thank God. I also thank God that I was endowed by a good lovely parents who taught me to respect and to get to know God. Until again, Feliza, love, Urbana Dear Urbana, I am pleased to tell you that our little brother Ernesto is different from the other kids. I am proud of him for his modest demeanor and kindness. You might feel the same way if you will observe him. I would also like to take this opportunity to thank you for sending us letters because we learned every day all of it. I instructed Ernesto to study the writings from your previous letter. He followed and does what I said, and later on, he will really learn and master it. Love, Feliza. Feliza, when you are in front of a food, or when you are at a party, you need to practice what is right. Do not lick your fingers. Do not blow the hot broth. Mash the viand using your hand and return the used dishes because these practices are all disgusting and inappropriate. The proper usage of cutlery is gentle. Do not grit your teeth and do not grind your lips. These are just some proper preparation done at the table. Until again, Feliza, love, Urbana. Dear Urbana, I am happy to inform you that I already talked to our mother about my plan to marry Amadeo. Love, Feliza. I am very grateful that you fought for your love. Until again, Feliza. Love, Urbana. Dear Urbana, I saw Madeo in our yard last night, and he is calling me. I fought my feelings and I choose to resist whatever my heart is telling me to do so. I closed my eyes and turned my back and followed my mind, because I know that seeing a man without permission is a sin. I almost destroyed my dignity. Thank God I was able to control it. Love, Feliza. 
Feliza. I am very grateful to have a sister like you. I thank God for giving me a sister with of courage and should be kept. Love, Urbana. Dear Urbana, as we walked away from church, our father accidentally stumbled down. So this was the reason why the bone in his chest was broken. Because of this, he had suffered difficulty in breathing. But before his last breath, he told us his last message. He said that, Do not regret the little amount of money that has been spent on you. And as you enter the convent, turn your back away from the world and promise God that she will be clean or immaculate until the rest of your life. Love, Feliza. I will follow our father's last message. I am deeply saddened by his death. Please, always visit our father's tomb to let him know that he is forever be in our hearts and we do not forget him. I love you so much, father. Love, Urbana. Here is the story plot of Urbana and Feliza. First, the exposition is an introduction of details at the beginning of a story, often includes setting, character, and other details. And here is the exposition of the story. Urbana and her siblings, Feliza and Anesto, lives in Bulacan. Next, the rising action are the things that happen before the climax. And here is the rising action of the story. Urbana left Bulacan and went to Manila. Next, the climax is the turning point of the story. And here is the turning point of the story. Feliza almost gave in to the temptation to her lover Amadeo. Next, the falling action are things that happen after the climax. Here is the falling action of the story. Their father died. And lastly, is the resolution is how the story ends when the conflict is resolved. Here is the resolution of the story. Urbana and Feliza kept their father's last message. The conflict will be internal conflict, also called man versus self. It's because the character faces mixed emotions over her actions or decision that has been made. The setting is in the Bulacan and Manila during Spanish colonization. And the theme of the story is always have respect for yourself, learn to say no to temptation that might ruin your dignity as a person. Modesto de Castro's Urbana and Felisa are also called as Pagsusulatan ng Dalawang Binibini na si Urbana and Felisa. Was a bestseller manual the Urbana Didactic literature facilitated the assimilation or production process engendered by the colonial agenda among middle class and urbanized women in Christianized communities. Urbana and Felisa became a whole way of life presented as a study that spans the mid 19th to the 20th century. Urbana and Felisa was one of the many classic books of morals and feminine conduct which emphasized the do's and don'ts of Christian behavior at home, in school, church, in the community across ages, class, gender, and step.